Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to generate JSON reports in Cucumber projects and what is the purpose of generating such JSON reports in the projects. Let me answer. First of all, how to generate JSON reports, I'm going to show you practically. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse IDE where we have the sample Cucumber framework for project. In this, we'll directly go to the test runner file. Let it open. Let the test runner dot Java file open. And here uh, in the test runner file, we have a property known as plugin to which here HTML format report is being specified to be generated. Now, instead of HTML, I'll write down JSON because here the requirement is how to generate JSON. So instead of HTML, I have to provide JSON. And uh, this is a location where you want to generate the reports. That is under the project, under the target folder. Okay. With this name, Cucumber reports folder. Okay. A, re a folder will be created. Okay. Under the target folder, whatever the name I have given here with that name, a folder will be created under that folder. Cucumber report is the name of the report and the extension of the report should be JSON. So dot JSON I have to change. So this is the format we have to change. JSON colon location, name of the report and extension JSON should be the extension. Okay. Now, if you run this, it will run the scripts or it will run this feature files and automation scripts automatically and it will generate the JSON report for us. So let me run it. Right click, run as JNA test. So it will start uh, running the feature files. Feature files will invoke the step definitions where the automation scripts are there. The automation scripts will run where the browsers will launch, the test will happen. So I'll not, uh, you know, record, record the entire scenario is being executed. One scenario will show you like this, one scenario being executed, one scenario done, now second scenario started. I'll pass the recording and resume once all the scenarios got executed. As you can see, all the tests got executed. Some got passed, some got failed. It doesn't matter for us. Simply refresh this project once. Once the execution is done, simply refresh the project. Once you refresh the project under the target folder, you see Cucumber Reports folder got created. Under that, we got the Cucumber Report.json file. Let me open this JSON file. Open with, uh, let's say, text editor, I'll say, so that you can see the JSON. This is the JSON text, OK? So like this, some JSON thing came. The report got generated in JSON format, not in HTML format. But what is the purpose? We can simply generate the report in HTML format, right? Why in real time people generate the uh, reports in Cucumber project in JSON format? What is the purpose? What is the reason behind it? There is a reason, okay? Not everyone preferred to generate the reports in HTML format. There may be some very rare projects where they want to customize the reports, okay? They don't want the default generated uh, Cucumber HTML reports. Instead, they want to get the reports in JSON format and uh, they'll parse this JSON, okay? Using JSON parsers in Java library or whatever it is, they will parse the JSON. And from that, they can take the data like how many tests got passed, how many tests got failed, uh, what happened, everything they can take. And with that information, okay? which got retrieved by passing such kind of JSON files, they will create one more report, a customized report for their clients and all, okay? A better looking reports, maybe. They are not satisfied with the default Cucumber HTML reports. They want to showcase, you know, company specific uh, uh, customized report. In such cases, they generated the JSON reports and they, they will parse this JSON files or reports and they will create some new looking or new customized reports out of it as per their requirements. That is one of the reason why uh, they generated the JSON reports instead of the HTML reports. And other things may be, this JSON reports can be integrated with other tools, okay? So our systems for further processing or visualization of test results, okay? You, can, you cannot pass HTML as an input to other system, okay? To analyze the results and all those stuff, okay? That is a mechanism where, you know, if you generate the JSON reports, you can pass it to other tools or systems which will analyze the reports, process the reports, or they can 
visualize the test results in a better way. Okay. So like that, many things are there, many advantages are there to customize the reports or to analyze our process or visualize the reports in a better way. We, they can or we can generate JSON reports. Okay. But in real time, most of the cases I have seen people generating the HTML reports only. But in rare cases in uh, some projects, it may happen where they generate the JSON reports to customize or build some better looking reports or to pass them to other system to visualize them or to process or analyze them better. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.